Now, let us study about how to prevent the diseases. So far, we have seen how to get rid of the diseases. But there are certain limitations in regard to this. Let us study. The infected person's body functions and mechanisms get severely damaged and may not be cured at all. Secondly, treatment will take time, which means the patient needs to be bedridden for a certain period of time, though the treatment is being given. The third disadvantage is that the person infected can become the source for spreading the disease to other persons. So, from the above reasons, it is understood that it is better to prevent the diseases instead of curing them. We all are aware of the proverb, prevention is better than cure. Diseases can be prevented by using two types. They are general, specific. The general means of preventing disease is by avoiding exposure. If we look at the ways of spreading diseases, we can get some easy answers. For airborne diseases, we can prevent exposure by providing living conditions that are not closed and overcrowded. Drinking of unsafe water leads to waterborne diseases. These diseases can be prevented by using clean water or boiled water. Also, for vector-borne diseases, hygienic and clean conditions would become the basic principle. This helps in avoiding mosquito breeding. Public hygiene plays an important role in preventing the infectious diseases. Apart from the above issues, there are also some other principles that prevent infectious diseases. Before knowing it, let us try to answer a question. Daily, we come across many infected people around us. According to our previous knowledge, if someone is infected with a disease, then the people who are nearer to the infected person also gets infected. For example, if someone in a class is suffering from cold and cough, then the students sitting around must be infected with cold and cough. But in general, that is not the case. What would be the reason behind it? Let us learn in detail. 